Hey guys, today is January 18th of 2021 and I got a robot here that's got some alarms on it. So let's go check it out. So it's complaining there's no reagent detected. And what that's all about is we have a all somatic cell count uh, sensor on here. And a somatic cell count uh, reader uses a re reagent, reagent, reagent. Um, and pretty much we got to keep that full. The way it works is as it pumps the milk out of here uh, out of the vat it pumps the milk out to the milk tank and as it does that it pulls a sample off of here into this uh, box and up here there's a chamber where it will put the milk into and then that little bit of milk has some reagent that's in here just gravity flows in there uh, mixed with the milk and depending on the somatic cell count of the cow that milk um, becomes thicker so the higher the cell count the thicker the milk becomes or the sample becomes and then they have a electromagnet they have this little magnet that they turn the magnet on and pulls up this magnet and then the magnet sinks down and it measures how long it takes for that to sink down. And then it pulls the magnet up and measures how long it takes for it to sink down. And depending on how thick the milk sample became, it takes longer to sink down or quick to sink down. And based off of that, it knows the somatic cell count. And, um, and then it's calibrated to a point where it knows how long it takes for it to sink down is correlated to what the somatic cell count is. But this thing's complaining we don't have any reagent in there. Um, so we'll end up uh, go fill it up. So actually we gotta buy this re reagent concentrate and it's pretty much a 1 to 15 ratio so we gotta put some water in there first. I like to put the water in first and then the, then the concentrate because if you do it the other way around it tends to foam a lot. We want a pretty steady stream coming out of there, so that's good. Now the reason we care about that, the somatic cell count is a measure of the white blood cells in the milk. And pretty much it's how active, how active the cow's immune system is. And so the more white blood cells, we know that there's an infection somewhere in that cow. And so we want to have a look at that. Or if she has mastitis, it gets real high. And we want to treat that and dump that milk. So it measures that cell count. If, if it's low, if the trend's low, 
it measures it on every third milk can. Uh, if it trends high, it starts to me measure it every milk can. So it's pretty much another measurement of the health of the cow, uh, how well she's doing. So it's something to keep a close eye on. That and then uh, the, the milk factory, or where our milk goes, they pay a premium for a low somatic cell count. Good morning, guys. Today's January the 19th, and we're just finishing up uh, heifer barn chores. And after that, we'll be uh, making a couple improvements here. Uh, if you see what we got going on. We built this barn, oh, last summer, and to kind of keep the cows off of, off of the curtain and keep them from ruining it, they put up these high tensile wires. Uh, problem is we had a couple break over here. We got some cattle panels at the local farm store. We're just gonna put them over the top of it. And with us today, we got Mason, <laughs> and we'll be uh, getting going here. Beautiful. I want to know what's going on. Ah, uh, the ends ain't quite on center here, so I'm gonna have to cut that off. Always curious about new things. Checking it all out. Hopefully that'll last a little bit longer. Well, 
that will be it for today. I'm gonna go grab some lunch. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.